the 9th, 2024, and it is going to be a rainy day here in South Carolina today. Uh, it is currently 10.20 in the morning. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and come out here this morning. Um, I didn't have a whole lot going on today, so I figured I'd go ahead and jump on here and make today's video. I hate filming inside the house, um, as you guys know, and uh, I figured I'd go ahead and get today's video filmed before the thunder and lightning and the rain start pouring down, because often when it does rain, I'll film on the front porch, but the rain in the gutters is just so loud when it's dropping on there, so... I figured I'd go ahead and do today's video this morning. Um, today I want to talk about uh, how I quit drinking. And the reason why is that I, I keep getting this question a lot. And there's a lot of new subscribers here to the channel. Um, so, you know, with all the new subscribers, I, I get this question, you know, how, what did I do to quit drinking? Um, and I, I'm going to get into that in just a minute. But, um... I do want to say thank you so much to everybody for all the, you know, all the comments yesterday. Everybody just came and just poured out so much love to me. Uh, I'm still in kind of like a state of, I don't know, it's like, it, it's a really weird feeling. Um, you know, it, at the end of the day, I'm, <laughs> I still have cirrhosis. Uh, you know, I'm not healed by any means. Um, you know, the thing is, is that just my numbers are looking okay right now. So, you know, I, I don't have to worry about it right this second. Um, you know, that's not to say that, you know, something's not going to come later on down the road. Because it eventually will. I mean, I still have cirrhosis. That's it's not that's not going to get healed. But, um, you know, like I was saying, you know, I just really wanted to be able to go on vacation with my, my family this summer. The past two summers have just been horrible. And uh, to be able to, to go on vacation this year without having to worry about, you know, this is wrong or that's wrong or have the surgery going on, it's just going to be really nice to be able to enjoy that. And like I said, I just kind of, I, I don't even really know how to even like perceive uh what I the, the results that I got yesterday because um, I've had so much bad news for so long and to like finally get some decent news it's like I'm I, I'm I'm really having a hard time finding the word for it. Um, I guess it's more or less like uh, like I just was that's not the news I was expecting to get and um, I, it just hasn't sunk in. It really has not sunk in all the way with me yet. Now I will say that last night. Um, I was talking with my kids, and, and my boys don't know the whole story with what's going on with me. Uh, my daughter knows, but she's 20. Um, my two youngest sons, um, well, my two sons, uh, you know, they, they just don't know the extent of what's wrong. They know their dad has liver disease, but they don't know what that really entails. They know I have diabetes, and they know that I'm sick, but they don't know to the extent of how sick I really am. Now, they've come and seen me in the hospital many times. They've seen me in really bad shape. Um, there were, when I was in the hospital in Columbia, my children did not come to see me there. Uh, I did not want them to come up there. My wife didn't want them to come up there and see me. Um, I was in really bad shape in the hospital in Columbia at Piedmont. Um, not Piedmont. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name of the place now. Uh, anyway, I can't remember the name of the hospital, but uh, Prisma Health. Uh, when I was in Prisma, uh, I looked bad. I had ascites really bad. I had jaundice. Um, you know, my eyes, my skin was yellow. Um, I, uh, my face was so sunken in. I looked like a skeleton, and my my belly was just so distended during that period of time. We just didn't want our children to see. But my point is, is that yesterday. Uh, my wife came home, she brought my boys home, and, um, you know, I was just in such a good mood yesterday after getting those test results, and, um, when my kids, uh, came inside, and I gave them their dinner, and <clears throat> they were, there's the thunder right there, uh, but while I was giving them their dinner, I just started telling them about the, uh, results that I got in, I told them, they didn't even know I was going to the doctor yesterday, uh, but I told my boys, and, uh, 
we just started crying together. My, both of my kids got up and um, they gave me a hug and uh, we all stood there and cried holding each other yesterday afternoon. And it was like, it was a very beautiful experience to have with my kids. Um, I was telling my youngest son and um, the tears just started welling up in his eyes. And uh, both of my kids started crying. I started crying. I'm about to start crying right now. Because it was, it was, uh, it was just a beautiful experience. Um, I, I just felt this like uh, overwhelming feeling of love. Because uh, for once, like I didn't have to give my kids bad news. Like, hey guys, I gotta go have a surgery. Because they've had to hear that so many times. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still really emotional about all of this right now. Um, because I've had so much bad news for so long. Every single time that I get my blood work done or anything like that, it's just, there's always something else. Uh, another surgery that I have to do. And, you know, I had my last surgery back in, uh, what was it back in April I think it was April anyway when they finally pulled those stents out of my pancreas and uh, I don't have any surgeries that I have to have at the moment I still have uh, two hernias that need to be addressed and I still have to go back to my doctor uh, this summer and um, they're gonna do a CAT scan look at my pancreas again because my pancreas shrunk in half from January uh, until April or March. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, right off the top of my head right now. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of scrambled right now. Um, but I still have to go back, have that CAT scan done, and they're going to look at my pancreas and see what it's looking like because they have discussed uh, that they might have to remove my pancreas. And uh, when I was speaking to my GI doctor yesterday, he actually pulled that up. He was looking at my MUSC reports and saw that, you know, the the pancreatic specialist did say that they might remove my pancreas and um you know he didn't even know what you know what the next step was going to be from there and I told her I don't know you know we have to go see uh when I have my CAT scan done I'm gonna speak with him and then I guess I'll get back with you so <clears throat> they want me to go have my testing done so that they can look at my micronutrients uh, because my GI doctor is uh, concerned about my um, pancreatic enzymes and if I'm digesting food properly. Uh, like I said, every time I've been to the doctor, it's been that I have malnutrition. Um, and my doctor wants to see what my vitamin levels are looking like right now and to see if my pancreas is, uh, you know, producing the correct enzymes to digest food because, uh, you know, he asked me, do you, are you still getting stomach aches? And I do. Um, I have to be very careful about my food. Um, and that's one of the things that he wanted to discuss with me yesterday was my diet and how that's working out. And, uh, you know, I told him, uh, it, you know, basically no fat at all. And, uh, you know, he was like, yeah, that's, you, you do not eat, need to eat fat. One of the, one of the times I had gone to my, um, to my GI, I had gotten very, very ill the night before. I had actually been, uh, it was like three days before, and I was still sick when I went to the GI doctor. Um, I had eaten chicken wings. Uh, I didn't think about it. Um, you know, and I only ate like three of them, um, and they weren't deep fried. They were baked chicken wings, and uh, you know, I ate those, and I thought it was going to be fine, and I ended up getting really sick. And the amount of fat that was in the wings is what made me sick. And when I went and spoke to my GI doctor a couple days after that incident, you know, I, my stomach was hurting all the way through that. Uh, when I finally went to to talk with him, and I told him, he, he goes, what have you been eating? And I told him, I ate the wings, and he goes, Man, you cannot do that. You cannot. Um, he said, look, I love chicken wings just like anybody else does, uh, but you can't eat them. They're, there's too much fat in wings, and they're going to really make your stomach hurt because your, your pancreas is going to get really upset. And <clears throat> I learned from that experience, just I cannot have any fat. But, um, you know, that was another part of the conversation. But anyway, I'm getting so far off topic here right now. Um, so how did I quit drinking? 
Um, well, I didn't quit on my own. Uh, I tried to quit drinking so many times uh, on my own and relapsed multiple, multiple times. Um, in, in all seriousness, I probably seriously tried to quit drinking a hundred times. Um, if I was being, you know, totally realistic in, and tried to count, which I would have no idea. <clears throat> but if I, like, <clears throat> really tried to think about how many times I really tried to stop drinking, I would say a hundred times. Did I, I told myself every single day that I wasn't going to drink the next day, and it never happened. Um, but in all seriousness, probably a hundred times. And I just, it just never worked out for me. So what ended up happening is I ended up getting sick in uh, May of 2022 and ended up in the hospital with pancreatitis and I was uh, throwing up blood and um, when I ended up in the hospital um, and if you want to look into more of that story uh, you can go back um, I talk about that I think in my first video but there's a bunch of videos where I describe what happened to me in the hospital if you're new to this channel um, but I, I ended up in the hospital very ill and I was put on medical detox and that's how I finally stopped drinking um, I was in the hospital for two weeks. Uh, I don't remember the first week at all while I was in there, and I'm pretty sure that was due to the, I think I was on Ativan, um, and I was on some other medications. I don't remember. Um, I was on a lot of pain medication during that period of time too, because I was in the middle of pancreatitis. I was very, very, very sick. Um, I just don't remember the first week. I think they had me on so much medication, I just don't remember. But the second week I do remember, and they had taken me off of the Ativan or whatever. My wife said that I seemed like I was highly intoxicated when I was on the, uh, on the Ativan. She actually got really upset with the nurses uh, when they would come in there and give me the injection or whatever they would do because she said that I was slurring my words. Uh, I wasn't speaking coherently. There's that thunder. It's coming. Um, but I just seemed like I was intoxicated. My wife got really upset about it. But I guess that's just what the medicine can do to some people. Um, and I and I, I was hallucinating as well uh, while I was in the hospital. Um, you know, that I, I was told I was, like, talking to people. Um, I said people had come to see me that had never shown up. Um, a, a lot of really strange things happened during that period of time, and I, I don't, I have no recollection of any of it. But that's how I stopped drinking, uh, was medical detox. And after coming out of the hospital two weeks, I actually hadn't drank for a couple days before I went to the hospital because I was just so ill. Um, my wife kept asking me to go. I kept saying no. I think I'll be okay. And finally, on the last day, uh, my wife came home and found me covered in uh, vomit. Uh, I was covered in blood. Um, uh, it was all over the bed, all over the floor. I couldn't get up anymore. I was so sick. And when she came home and found me in that state, she, uh, you know, I went to the hospital right after that. But that's how I stopped. And after coming home um, from the hospital, I was, uh, I just made up my mind after that that I didn't want to drink again. And, um, you know, I haven't had a drink since. But that's, that's, that's how I stopped. Um, I wish I could say that I quit on my own, just cold turkey, uh, but I, I didn't. And I tried that multiple times and was unsuccessful each time. Um, I will say, you know, I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm not affiliated with any healthcare professionals or anything like that. So, you know, don't take anything I'm saying as advice or anything. I'm just relating to you my story. Um, you know, but I can say that the medical detox, uh, you know, it did significantly help me. Um, now, did the fact that I was very sick, did that play a role? Absolutely. Um, I don't think I ever would have quit if I hadn't gotten sick. And after ending up in the hospital, I mean, they basically told me when I first got there, the doctor said, I remember them coming in the room, um, they had like a wheel in x-ray machine. And the, they came in, they took a bunch of x-rays of me, and uh, they left. And then the doctor came in sh shortly after and said, uh, your blood sugar is 1100, um, you're in the middle of pancreatitis, uh, you have multiple organ failure, uh, my liver was shutting down. Um, and he said, look man, I'm going to be completely honest with you right now, you're, you're dying and we're going to do our best to save your life. 
and we're not exactly sure if we're going to be able to do that or not, but we're going to try our best, okay? And he, he just was very honest with me that, you know, this could potentially lead to me losing my life. <clears throat> and I just, I think that really scared me. Um, and it just shook me up so bad. Uh, I think I, I finally realized that I actually really did want to live. Because I, I knew that I was killing myself every day when I drank. I mean, I knew that for a fact. Excuse me one second. I always felt sick. Um, I just didn't feel well. I threw up every single day. I just felt really bad all the time. And um, I knew that, that during that whole period of time that, you know, something was wrong with me. Um, I had a feeling I had diabetes because I started losing weight um, a year into me getting sick. Um, and it was unexpected. I hadn't done anything different and I told my wife I think I probably have diabetes because I was just losing weight um, for no reason um, But sorry guys somebody was calling my phone. I'm recording on my phone today, but um, You know that after the doctor had said all those things to me I think it just really just frightened me so much and you know and then being in the hospital for that length of time um just everything I went through, I think it just really just frightened me so much that, uh, you know, I just decided that was it. And then after that, um, I spent the rest of the summer uh, working really hard. Um, I thought everything was okay. And then I ended up getting sick again in September and ended up back in the hospital again. And that time was in Columbia, South Carolina. And that time I, I really did almost lose my life. Like, like that time it like really almost did happen. Um, and after that, I just, I've had so many problems and so many surgeries and all kinds of stuff since then that even, um, I don't know, you know, and it, it scares me now that, you know, this stuff might be starting to slow down a little bit because, uh, you know, I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to start, maybe start feeling a lot better, maybe, I don't know, um, hopefully, uh, but, you know, it's getting to that point of, you know, start feeling better. And then, you know, it, those thoughts might start creeping back in even more uh, that I'm doing better. Now, does that mean that I'm going to go back to drinking? Absolutely not. But I'm just saying that I just know that those thoughts might come back even stronger now. Uh, you know, knowing that th these numbers are looking better. And that just frightens me. I just don't want to even think about it. But I'm just being completely honest with you guys about... Um, you know how my mind still works uh you know thoughts do come in my mind i you know it's not like i can make them stop um all i can do is not act upon them but the thoughts still come in my mind often and i'm worried that now that you know they tell me my numbers are looking better uh, are those thoughts going to start getting worse um you know is it going to be that idea of you know how some people will get liver transplants and they'll go back to drinking again. You know, am I going to start having those kinds of thoughts start to enter my mind? Um, but I'm not going to act on them. I'm just being completely honest with you guys. I, I I'm so I want to be so open with everyone here, um, so that if anybody out there is having those thoughts too, like you might be in a similar situation as me, and those thoughts might cross your mind. I want you to know you're not alone. Um, that you know. I'm, I have these thoughts. These things still cross my mind too. Now, like I said, is do, am I going to act on those? No. Um, I hope not, and I don't plan to. I don't ever want to go back ever again. It's just not the life that I want to live. Um, and I just don't want to. Uh, I I don't want to make my situation any worse than what it is. But anyway, guys, I'm just rambling on now. But. Like I said, I just wanted to talk today about how I stopped drinking, and it was a medical detox, and that's how I finally stopped. I don't think I would have ever quit if it hadn't been for that, but anyway, guys, we're going on almost 20 minutes. I want to make this video no longer 20 minutes today. Thank you so much for all the uh, heartwarming words that everybody said in yesterday's video. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. I, I mean, really. And if I didn't feel the way I felt about every single one of you here, I wouldn't be sharing these moments with you. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of people would leave, you know, parts of them getting upset like that in a video like this. But I want to share 
uh, honestly with you guys about you know how I feel um, and let you know it, it's okay to uh, to be upset have emotions whatever this is difficult um, quitting drinking is not easy and a lot of emotions come up um, during these periods of times and it's okay to let that happen um, we got to let those things kind of flow out it's the only way we're going to heal ourselves but anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and jump off here for today thank you so much i love each and every single one of you and until tomorrow i will see y'all then Bye.